Um, so today I'm going to teach you how I created my name tag within Cricut Design Space. Um, as always, um, if there are different fonts that you like to use, I recommend going to Canva. Um, I do, depending on actual projects and things that I actually sell, I do create in Canva first and then I bring it on to Cricut Design Space. But just as far as a simple of the name tag that I use in my videos, um, I created on Cricut Design Space using the free fonts that they offer. So, uh, what we are going to do, um, start off with, is we'll go to text, and then all you're going to do is put in your handle. So, for me, mine is gracefully, gracefully made, and then say you don't like this font that it defaults to, um, if you go over to, like, up here, hit fonts, and then you go to here, and you can filter this to free fonts. And you can like play around like oh like a little bit more thicker or anything like that um, but yeah you can scroll down to do those um, so one tip I would say is when you cut out this first layer because we are going to create layers if you don't want to glue these pieces down piece by piece um, you can adjust this um, so if you just go up here to letter space and you just want to get them as close as possible but you still want to be able to see what it says you can do that um, you could also go to advanced um, and so I don't mess this one up let's just copy this real quick um, if you go to advanced you can ungroup the letters and then you could play around with it and click them one by one and make sure that they're touching and I can zoom in so you all can see exactly what I'm saying and you just take each letter and just have them oops touching one another um but with the amount of letters of this I didn't want to do that um so yeah that's that's just another option um but for me for this one I was not <laughs> not gonna do that so um letter space and just click down to their touching as good as possible some of them may not touch deep with each other once you cut them out you're still gonna have to like glue some pieces here here or there um for me i was totally okay with that okay so this would be my first layer and then since mine was layered um well, i think i had like three or four layers i went to offset and then you can play around with this or how you want this to look the look that you're going for um so we'll just go with this one for now and I believe I had three or four offsets. So let's just do this four times. Okay. So this was my first layer, which was a glitter cardstock. My next one was just like a regular plain cardstock. Um, so I was like, okay, that's how I know I need this one to be that. This layer was acetate for me so we'll just do that as a white layer and then my back layer my last layer was the glitter cardstock again so this is how I know when I'm putting it into on my mat and having it cut out I know that this is the ones that need to cut out and what I mean by that because when you go over here and you hit make I'm not going to say this this is going to tell you in the order of which it's going to cut and what color cardstock needs to be on the mat. Um, so that's why I say it's very key to make sure that you, you don't have to, but it makes it easier. So you're not like, oh wait, what did I want to go? What's the look I wanted to go for? Uh, so that's what I do. But yeah, that is how I made my name tag that I use in all my videos. And thank you all for tuning in and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if there's anything that you're wanting to learn how to do with Carstock or with the Cricut at all, please let me know. If I don't know, I am more than willing to learn um, so I can teach you. Uh, but thank you all so much and have a good day.